Hello world! It's Michelle. Thanks for coming to watch my channel again. Today I'm going to just do some basic stuff talking about my first impressions of Korea. So I've been in Korea now about six months. I've been teaching. China was my real like culture shock. Actually Korea I found to be much easier to integrate, uh, to settle into. Um, but the things that I did notice within my first six months here, some things within two days, some things after a while. First thing was the metro in Korea in general is just clean. It's super clean. Uh, I always hear about these super clean places like Singapore and Japan as well. As far as here, it, Korea is really clean. Um, one weird thing is though, there aren't any public trash cans anywhere. It's really hard to find trash cans, so I feel like I'm always walking around with a coffee cup, just like, I guess I'm just gonna take this cup all the way to my destination. Because even in the metro, you have to find a place that has the the, the trash can. It's just hard to find trash cans. Um, metro is also extremely quiet. The metro is so quiet. Um, also heard that Japan is literally silent, but here it's really quiet. Uh, if you're even whispering a conversation or if your music's on too loud, people will give you the death stare. And it's not only for foreigners. I've seen Korean where his music was so loud that I've been here long enough now that I'm like, whoa, I know these Koreans are hating this. And I looked at the girl next to me and she was just grilling him hard. So yeah, don't be loud on the metro. I mean, it's a, it, it, if you're going to talk, it's going to be impossible, but just don't scream. Don't be that, that foreigner or that person. Usually the only people I see who are Korean who are loud are either really old people who just don't care anymore or people who I think either are on something or they're doing some kind of announcement. Uh, metros in Asia, still on the metro tip. Metros in Asia are so much nicer than in the U.S. Now, I can't compare any, everywhere in the world, but U.S. metro systems are so old. If they're not old and they're new, they're usually like a light rail type of system in like a medium-sized city. And I know that I don't, first of all, I don't think that we should have metros everywhere. I think that's ridiculous. Our country's too big and not everyone would use it because of the amount of people who have their own cars. Just having a car is a thing, especially in the South. I'm from the South. Everyone has a car. So that's the thing. But in places like DC, DC is what I'm going to really draw from because DC and Chicago were the two most recent metros that I've brewed on since living in Asia. They're just embarrassing. They are embarrassing. They. <laughs> they kind of feel like a roller coaster, like a wooden roller coaster in comparison because the, the metros out here, even Chinese metro was real. Me China's metro was really, really nice. It's one of the things I miss and it it wasn't brand new, but it was well organized, good system. It wasn't, it didn't look like the 80s still. So we need to update. We need to, if you're going to have the metro system in a place in the U.S., update it. It's okay to update things every every now and then. Renovate, get new cars, do something. But yeah, I, I, I was embarrassed when I went to D.C. and to Chicago. Koreans are much taller. They're much taller than the Chinese. Uh, the men and the women, but most principally the men. The men are really tall. Like it's not, no, it's not abnormal for most of the guys to be around my height or taller. I'm just under five ten. Um, Koreans are really good looking. They're just good looking. When you walk around, as soon as you get here, you're gonna be like, <gasps> they are some good looking people. And I'm gonna just leave it at that. The barbecue is amazing. Korean barbecue is amazing. I never even really did it before and I didn't really understand the concept because I used to be like, why would I want you to bring me food that I'm going to cook at the table? Because you know, like you go to Konki or something and yeah, they bring you the food, but they cook it for you and then give it to you. No, this is like, you, they bring you the meat and you cook it. Now, if you don't know, they'll, they'll come over and like, they flip it and stuff for you, but in general, you're supposed to cook, which I found to be a very different concept, except I really like the the style of it. Thankfully, after living in Brazil and here, which I, sh I should compare Korea and Brazil someday because there are a lot of random similarities. They also do barbecue, but it's both, both styles are very communal and very nice, and I like doing them often, so definitely enjoy Korean barbecue. But the best thing in this country is Chimek. 
the Han River. Actually, at any river, just picnicking is amazing here, and they will bring you the food to where you are sitting. You can call them, the little delivery guy on his motorcycle will roll the chicken up to you. By the way, fried chicken in Korea, on point. I know that's a stereotype, but good God, it is so good. I could not have picked a better place. There's this thing called chimak, which means chicken and beer. So you get the chicken and the beer, and they bring it to you on the little motor scooter. And if you don't have a blanket, they'll bring you a thing to sit on so you can have your full blown picnic. You weren't planning a picnic, you call them up, they give you everything. Number one favorite thing in Korea, chumak and the Han. It doesn't even need to be chicken and beer, it can be anything. Probably beer, somak, somak works too. <laughs> but yes, going to the Han River and picnicking, easily one of my favorite things. Another stereotype, but thing I noticed, especially after coming from China, is the Koreans can party. Koreans can party. Uh, their music is good, they get live, they get hype, they work hard, play hard, and this is the country. Now they work really hard and also these are things that can go really deep, but this video isn't about being deep and going into why people do things they do, but this is just my impressions and Koreans can party, they're really fun, I love it. Also, similar to Brazilians, they just like to party and it's fun. The nightlife here is on point, you should definitely go to Seoul and go out one day, it's fun. Until you get surprises in the club, but Hey, you don't have to go to the club. You can go to so many places. The nightlife here is super fun. If you're coming to Korea, you gotta go out. Anyways, those are my experiences thus far and my impressions so far. There's still so many other things to talk about, but I didn't want to make the video too long. So anyways, I'll make a part two later on. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh,